Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host Craig Chamberlain and this is episode 3 of the Faster XP 2012 series which is going to debut every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Now in this video it's probably covering one of my least popular topics but that's because I think people don't, I, maybe I do a bad job of explaining why. But in this video we're going to actually uninstall your antivirus if your antivirus isn't good. So first we're going to want to check to see if your antivirus is good and by good I mean, you want your antivirus to have good performance, you want it to have good detection rates, and you want to have uh, good protection. Because what's the point of having an antivirus protecting your computer from things that slow it down if the antivirus itself slows it down? So I want you guys to have an antivirus that both performs well and runs well. That way it's essential, in my opinion, to a fast optimization guide. Uh, so now that that's out of the way and, and maybe people follow it a little better, let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm going to open up my web browser here. I use a tool called AV Comparatives. It's a third-party company to check how um, to check how antiviruses are doing, um, and that's right up here. I went to avcomparatives.org, and there's two reports, uh, probably three, but two in particular I want you guys to look at. And if you're more concerned take a little bit more time to look into detail on yours. But in this video, we're only cover two. We're gonna cover the real world test, which is how well it detects and catches real life situational tests. And they're pretty rigorous on the test, uh, but real life possible virus infiltrations. And then we're gonna look at the performance test, which is how well it actually scans and how many resources it uses up. That's the part that's gonna slow down your computer. If you got a low performing antivirus, it's going to actually drag your computer down. We don't want that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is here at this website, you got two, the real world test and the performance test. I got a lab on the left to the right. And file detection test you might want to take a look at as well. But let's start with real world test. Just click read more. And uh, this is going to bring up a PDF copy. Obviously get the latest version that's out. And the trick to these tests is you, you can read the entire report if you want. But what I like to do is I like graphs. I like charts. So if you scroll down, you can actually kind of look at the comparisons right here. Uh, see, they got these nice little charts. You can see your antivirus at the base of the, the detection. But what we're interested in for this video is the bottom. They have a award level. Now, at this particular section, you can, just, you can actually determine very quickly, just at a visual glance, how good your antivirus is in comparison to others. Now, the three major players in the freeware antivirus world right now are uh, Avast, Avira, and AVG. Um, so we'll take a look at those first. Avira, as you can see, falls under the two stars, and AVG falls under the two stars. Adequate, especially if it's free. So this is a good for free coverage of antivirus. I would say two stars, kind of what you would expect. If you're really concerned about security, jump up to your three-star rating software here. You're going to have to drop some money on it, but you're going to get better protection as far as real-world situations are concerned. Now, this is where Avast kind of gets hit right in the face with a truck. I used to recommend Avast all the time to people until, actually, recently they started dropping out horribly in real-world detection rates, so I can't really push them. In our particular video series, we're going to be using Avira, but as you can see, it falls under two out of three stars, and that's the amount of protection it's going to provide you. So, if you want more details on that, scroll up and read through the report, but uh, make sure you have at least a two out of three star rating on your antivirus, and now let's make sure that it performs well. So I'm going to go back here to comparatives, and actually it shows right here on the left-hand side. Let's do, oh, no, it loaded finally. Let's do performance tests. Let's click read more here. And let's make sure we download the latest report for performance tests. And we're going to scroll down here to the chart as well. Same chart on this one. This one's got a cool little feature here too. You can actually see what particular it has a good job of, uh, of scanning as far as performance is concerned. Now then we have here uh, the three stars is what we're going for as far as performance is concerned. And we have AVG is there, Avira is there, and oh no... Uh, is Avast there too? Well, Avast is there too. Hey, look, they all fall under the three-star ratings as far as performance is concerned. So now you're falling or you're leaning more towards um, actually using uh, any of them as far as, you I mean, really the performance-wise, you're going to get the, the most out of all of them. Uh, but, uh, you know, at this point, you're going to lean more towards the detection rates determining what you're going to use or not. 
So in this video series, we're going to actually be using a Fire. It has a 2 out of 3 star rating on detection rates in real world situations, and uh, it also has a 3 out of 3 for performance. Uh, it looks like, uh, what is it, uh, Vast also falls up? No, Vast got hammered on the last one. Uh, AVG also still has uh, decent ratings up there, so that's worth it. So now let's actually get to uninstalling it. I hate to cover you with all that, but this is also a video on how and when to do it. It's easy to do. Just click Start and select Control Panel. And then you want to select Add or Remove Programs. And typically your antivirus will be on the list here. Select it and click Remove. Now, if for some reason your antivirus does not successfully uninstall, which it does happen, you want to go to Google, www.google.com. And if you're, I don't know, removing McAfee, say McAfee Antivirus Removal Tool, or type in whatever your antivirus name is, and then type in Removal Tool. In most cases, the company that developed the software will actually release a full removal tool. If not, there will be some awesome guides and aids and things like that um, to actually walk you through on how to remove that tool. Don't pay anybody to do it. I hope this website's not doing that. But you can usually find, uh, make sure you do the full name of your software. So McAfee System Protection 2012 Removal Tool or whatever it's called. And then uh, you know run through the removal process and that's a great way to clean out all that junk too. So that's all there is to this video. That's how and when to uninstall an antivirus. Now in the next video we're going to actually remove all the viruses or Try to remove all the viruses on your computer. It's a number of free tools that can get you to do that. And then in the video after that, we're actually going to install a new freeware antivirus. And uh, we're going to configure it, set it up, and get it to do exactly what we want it to do. Uh, so stay tuned every uh, Monday at 10 a.m. for more episodes of the Faster XP 2012. And feel free to follow me on Twitter, subscribe on YouTube, and follow me on Facebook. So I'll see you guys again. Thanks.